of cry oh so excited yes come on in so i just wanted to come on really quickly because earlier this week hey zane i went to see uh alvin ailey opening night at city center here in new york and it was their first time returning to city center since the shutdown so 20 months ago i believe i guess uh was the last time they performed in their home space city center and I got to go to the opening night performance and gala, and it was incredible. So today is going to be all about love and dance. And see, you can see behind me. That's right. I'm claiming it. I'm proud. <laughs> the Alvin Ailey poster that I was on, I believe that was from 1995. And uh, yeah, all of our signatures. Um, and uh, yeah, so good stuff. So yes. So yes, I went this week and I'm happy to say the kids looked amazing. The dancers looked glorious. The new artwork is amazing. And I was just happy to be in the room. So much love, so much joy and happiness with Alvin Ailey starting back up this Wednesday. And they're only going to be in season. It's a shortened season. You know, of course, they're being conservative because, you know, they've been gone for a while. But um, and have to make you know recoup some some rent of revenue, but so they're only going to be at City Center until December nineteenth. So if you're in New York, you're coming to New York, please go check them out. And then they start their domestic tour across the U.S. Uh, I believe the third week of January in North Carolina. So go to their website alvinailey.org. Oh, is there a question already? Okay, let's see what the question is. Oh, bonsoir, Danny. <laughs> well, bonsoir to you too. Thank you for that. So. This was given to us at the gala, the, the Ailey souvenir book. Look how glorious that is, right? The photographer's name is Dario. It's a brother, and he's amazing. Hey, Chris Nobles. Look at this. So, literally, I was so excited. I hadn't been to a gala in years, an Ailey gala. I mean, it's just a glorious booklet, photos of Lazarus by Wendy Harris, right? And they're also celebrating this year Robert Battles, 10th anniversary as artistic director. So the evening feature, a lot of his works, you can see a lot of the, the program is dedicated to Mr. Battle and the works that he brought into the company. Hey, Snoop, Sylvia. <laughs> mommy's here, girl, mommy's here. You wanna come on and say hi to mommy? <laughs> um, oh my God, please join me on screen, Snoop. That's my cousin, y'all. I, I can still call her Snoop, that's my cousin. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> 
Mom, just, just put your hand in the put your hand in the camera. Wait, that's my mom. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> making her Danny G Live debut. Karen, <laughs> oh my God, yes, Sylvia. We can get back to Alien in a minute. I'm gonna bring in my cousins. This is my mommy. Here's a family affair. I love it. <laughs> Yes! Oh my god. I am so happy right now. Oh wait, it didn't work. Sylvia. <laughs> I'm, I'm like in between clients eating some food. I'm like, let me hop on real quick. <laughs> I'm so glad you did. This is perfect because mommy's here. She's here to come with me. <laughs> <laughs> now y'all see where I get it from. Okay, just silly. <laughs> oh, so you look great and gorgeous. <laughs> Look at you. Fabulous. We run into the family. Oh my God. What did she say? She said, you look fabulous. It runs in the family. Yes, oh, it does. thank you, thank you. Oh my God, I am crying here. Oh my God, yeah. Crystal, oh my Crystal just going to, this is so funny. Um, so, I mean, Tina, I'm sorry, Crystal, Tina. Oh yeah, I see. Yay, yeah. so how are you? Good, I'm at work, you know, in between clients, shoving some food down, starving, but I'm good. <laughs> So oh, I see you can yeah, tell me, is, is your shop okay? I know you had some, some water yeah. damage happening. What's going on? So there was a main water break in the street, right across the street. Um, a huge hole in it that looked like a sinkhole. Mm. And water just came pouring and flooded the entire building. I mean, water that was up to like cap height. And oh my God. Luckily, my suite didn't. Um, sustain any like substantial damage but it was just a mess in here we they had to close the building so we lost you know a week and a half worth of you know clients and work at and the stuff. holidays yeah. everybody's trying to get their their right, brows right. done and oh like, no come at the worst time oh. ever so yeah yeah so here we just got back in here what this week yesterday okay. no, not yesterday, the day before so it happened the 21st and we're just and they still have like machines and things trying to dry out the halls and stuff so uh oh yeah so just got back this week but yeah thank goodness like i said my so, there were some suites that had like really bad wow stuff so oh well i'm glad you're back up and running so guys this is my cousin sylvia yeah. david she has a, a brow salon in san diego bombshell yeah. brow I was just the name of bar. <laughs> Bombshell Beauty Bar? Uh, brow Bar. Bombshell Brow Bar. So if you're in San Diego, or if you have folks out in San Diego, please send them her way. Sylvia did an IG Live with me a bunch of months ago. We had a great time. She's my cousin. She's my dear heart. Oh, I'm from Philadelphia. Oh. And I'm actually thinking about coming. I don't know. My geography is terrible. But I'm thinking about coming to San Francisco in April. So I don't know how close that is to San Diego. That's, a, that's about a six-hour Six hour drive away, or like a quick little like flight if you were to like you know hop on. Yeah. Over. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When are you so thinking I'll, of coming to this area? Yeah. That's let me know. That keeps posted. Um, yeah. Other than that, you're are you gonna come east for the holidays at all or no? So no, just because it's a busy time for me here for the holidays, so I'm just gonna wait it out. Plus, plane tickets are like ridiculous, and yeah. you know, and mm -hmm. they've just been canceling way too many flights and stuff. You know, these airlines are just. Yeah, I know. So a little nervous. I'm going on my first trip in two weeks. Yeah. Uh, my first time flying since the pandemic. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, like, oh, I know, right? I'm nervous. <laughs> See how it is. So I might just wait till like after holidays, things calm down, like closer to springtime to head yeah. out there. But I'll definitely let everybody know for sure, because I haven't been out there since. I know. And I would love for you to come to New York. We've never been in New York together. No, That's I know. Great. Yes. Okay. That'll be the plan. When I come out there, I'll like make sure I take a chunk of time and then, you know, Philly, New York, I just drive on over there. And, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be amazing, amazing to connect that way. That would be awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How long is your mom visiting for? <laughs> She's here until Monday. So tomorrow, so I was having my little alien moment because oh, tomorrow okay. they are um, celebrating the 50th anniversary of the solo cry. And so I was invited to come and, you know, come to the show. So she's going to go with me to see the show tomorrow night. Beautiful. And then we're just going to hang out the rest of the weekend and just take it easy. And, um, yeah. Wine, just her. Food, right? <laughs> yeah, she came up today. So um, we've just been hanging out, you know, during the day. This is her first time seeing me in action <laughs> with all oh, the Oh, right. Stuff. She's there for the live behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh my God. Well, love to you. Stay safe out there. Thanks yes, for popping we'll on. 
Yes, I will. Thank yes, you, so hopefully I'll talk to you for the holidays. Yeah, we'll talk. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish eating and hop <laughs> off here. But love you. Love you, Karen. I'll talk to you guys later. You too. <laughs> okay, okay, bye. bye. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. So that was my cousin Sylvia. We call her that's my cousin Snoop. So yeah, she's out in San Diego with her salon, her brow salon. And um yeah, if you're in the area, you know, go support. And so I'll make sure to put a link to her salon in my in my my link tree. So yeah, this is a family affair today. So back to what I started out talking about. Um Yes, yeah, so Alvin Ailey is in season at City Center, and um, yeah, so they're just you know they look they're looking amazing. Oh my God, this is like the company now. Okay, just beautiful, you know, just uh, just all the all the complexions, the diversity. It's amazing. They look really beautiful, and I was so proud to be there in the audience Wednesday night to see them come back to City Center, and and the vibe in the room was just it just electric. I mean, everybody was there. And then I got a chance to go to the gala. I, mean, I, I have so many little keepsakes. I even kept the menu, y'all. <laughs> okay, I kept the menu. Um, and this is, uh, yeah, so just, you know, Ailey, 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 Ailey. You know, I got my little swag bag. Okay. So all that to say, um, if you're in New York and you're planning on visit during these three weeks until the 19th, um, hey, Addison. Please go check out Alvin Ailey at the at City Center on West 55th Street. I will be there tomorrow night and hopefully one or two more times before they're done. Um, and again, so today I just wanted to come on too because, again, tomorrow they're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the solo cry, which debuted May 4th, 1971 at City Center. Oh, oh my God, wait, Serena wants to come in. Oh my God, oh my God, the legend herself. I'm so excited. <laughs> yes. This is turning out better than I expected. Oh my God. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Queen? Oh, uh, hey, can you hear me? I can hear you, where are you? Here, I'm with Olivia, Olivia Bowman Jackson. <laughs> Oh my God, Ailey Queens, honey. Yes, Divas. What are you guys doing? Well, I'm in rehearsal. I'm at the Ailey. Speaking of Ailey, I didn't mean to interrupt your cry. No, oh, no, no. This is perfect. Oh my God. Make this quick. I got to get back to work. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Because I didn't mean, I mean, you know, I love your live. But seven, I was like, oh, I'm, I pressed Danny. So it must be meant to be. <laughs> so I know you're so. I, so first of all, I was so happy to see you on Wednesday night at the gala. It was so much fun. I was so just inspired and charged up, and I felt so loved. Like, I always feel so much love from everyone. But tell us quickly, because I was going to mention it. So Sarita Allen is a legendary, fierce queen diva of Alvin Ailey, legend. OK, I got to share the stage with this woman. She's done my lives before, and I'm just so honored that you popped on right now. But Sarita will be teaching, um, as she has in the past, other of Alvin's ballets. A workshop tomorrow from 2 to 3 30 um the blues blue suite which was alvin's first big ballet in 1958 so tell us about the workshop tomorrow well again my main thing that i always am so excited to get to when i get to chance to share alvin's work and you know this danny from having done it there's something about the feeling that you get when you do his work it really does have a transformative feeling to it. Mm -hmm. You know, all the choreographers work, everyone, when you do the different works, it has a different feeling. Like you feel mm -hmm. different doing Elisa Montes, Tally Beatty. They each have their own feeling that you get. They all have, they have their own vibe. Mm -hmm. So as a dancer, most people, I think are around, especially a lot of the young people, they haven't had an opportunity to dance his work. Right. So that's what I want them, everybody, to get that vibe. And then the blues, I mean, to hear the blues music and the blues. But it's not all sad because we're going to be doing the red section, which is zany, coming from the juke joint. Yes. You know, I always like it into that um, that do drop in. Well, it is a do drop in, but that honky tonk in the color purple. Mm -hmm. it's all about the characters, the crazy characters that live there and... You know, and he based it on real people. Right. We're going to be learning going from the red section mm -hmm. 
the last, like the final, the blues, the whole, the whole choreography. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's gonna so you're be just doing that one section tomorrow? So the red section going into the last, all the blues when you end with the improv and print. Yes. Oh. Transition going from the up. Da, 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 and then it right. goes, boom, boom, boom. Good morning, blues. Yes. Oh, that's so much fun. I just, I mean, I love dancing that work. I love being that character. I love changing the costumes from like, you know, the mood where we were in the moment you know, the somber to the party to House of Rising Sun. You yeah. know, I love dancing that trio with you. Oh my God, we had so much, so, so much, good. yeah. Yeah. And they really have to be actors. I mean, this is Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater and this piece is definitely about the acting and the theatrical nature of this company, right? Yeah, well, he always said it's one and the same. Mm -hmm. It's not, okay, I'm going to do the dance and then I'm going to act. I'll, I'll figure out the character later. It doesn't work that way. Right. The, the right. is only correct if you do it with the character. Exactly. Put it on later. It is the same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, can, now, can people still register? Because I know people can either do it online or yeah. in person. Is the in-person still available? So yeah, they could come to the Ailey School or online, virtual. They just can um, register at the Ailey Extension. <laughs> right. I think, I think I might do it online with my mom here in the living room. I think that'll oh, be so fun. You know, we're going to just get down. Yes. Crazy. And I, you know, keeping in mind that a lot of folks are at home. Plus, you know, we're not, there's no big jetés anyway unless Frisco, but we're not going to be doing me no Frisco. Right. So it's, to be contained because it's all about just getting that that character yes you know and just in the red whatever if you're going to be the silly person the sassy one the sexy one you mm -hmm. choose yes yeah will and you be there tomorrow night for the for the cry anniversary pardon me are you going tomorrow night for the cry anniversary oh good we'll get to see you you get to see my mom no it's going to be great. It's going to be really great. I'm looking forward to it. Night, did they kill it? Hello. That when they open with that Ella. Yes. That Ronaldo and Patrick and then oh. it was like okay. killing it. Killed it. They looked great. They looked really great. I was I can I was so lifted. I was so lifted. It was the two of them they did the way they danced was when you look at them you're like, "How did they do that?" You know, like you look at somebody, you're like, did I just see that? Like, how? Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And what was the section of the next ballet that they did that was Roberts? I forget the name of it offhand. I think it was Love Stories. Love Stories. Oh, my God. I love that that, that theme that they do. Right. It's and Jeroboam. Yeah. Ooh. And Berlin, they were just. And Across the board. I think they channel a little bit of sample the Stevie with the harmonica, Stevie Wonder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, they were really, it was really a wonderful program. The dancers were ready to come back. And I was just, I was beyond inspired and moved by the whole evening. The speeches, everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. The dresses, they were beautiful. Clifton mm -hmm. in the white suit and the red tie. Oh, right. So what we're talking about, guys, they did an excerpt from For Bird With Love, uh, which is choreographed by Alvin in um, honor of Charlie, Park, uh, Charlie Parker. And so uh, to show the legacy and the breadth of the company and the, you know, ongoing, you know, history of the company, they did an excerpt of the piece, the last section featuring Clifton Brown, but with uh, dancers from the school. And just what? To show the, the, the quality of dancers that are coming out of this school. Cool. That one tall, willowy, uh, female dance, girls dancer, just blow, blew me away. All of them. So but strong. You did not know that they were from the school. You would have thought that was the company. Right. Seriously. Right. right? Yeah. I was so sad I never got to dance, Bird, but oh my God, what a piece. Yeah. What a piece. And it looks amazing. He seems like a new person. Like he's like re 
his whole style, he's just like re-energized it. He's reinvented himself to be something else now. Clifton? Yeah, I found. Yeah. I never saw that. I mean, he was always, he, he's a magnificent dancer. But yeah. I saw one side of him, which is great to see artists show different sides of the always evolving. Mm -hmm. I feel like I had, a, I had a moment of thinking he's really grown into his, uh, and I don't mean in the way he has, he's old, like his senior, his senior member dancer man self. <laughs> that makes any sense. Yeah. You know, like there's a moment where you do grow into that. Yeah, I'm a senior member of this company now. I gotta, I have to reflect that when I come on this stage. And he led them, but not like in a, braggadocious way no 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 yeah and he i never remember seeing him so free he was i don't know it's just a different side of him he, yeah it's beautiful and rev i mean everything was just so great and it was so wonderful seeing you guys after yeah. the reception and liz and just nasha lisa i mean you know we we went we went to the trenches together like we'll never we will always be connected I and know. there will always be so much joy when we see each other which is what i love yeah. You know, so much fun. Oh. oh, I used to work with you. Right. We're not like that. No. No. Mm -hmm. Michael Thomas. Ah, That's so fun. Back to my, back to my rehearsal. So okay. <laughs> Otherwise. I'll see you tomorrow, but I'll see you online. In the How? Otherwise, we'll be chit-chatting the whole hour. <laughs> well, thank you for coming on, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for having us. Hey, Mom. <laughs> All right. Love bye. you, Serena. Danny, bye. Okay, bye. Hope to see you guys. Yes, you will. Yay. All oh. right. How do I get out of this? Oh. Olivia? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Olivia will be there, too. Love you, Olivia. Love you, Danny. So oh, beautiful. All right. Bye. Oh, that's so awesome. Serena, Alec is. I'm, I'm telling you. This is family. You don't understand. Oh, I wish I had a picture. Oh, wait a minute. I think I might have a picture. I was going to throw up some Ailey photos while we were talking. Is she in this photo? Oh, I don't think she's, she made it to this photo shoot. Anyway, so this was um, the original cast of Shelter um, with Alvin Ailey back in 1992. And I got to see Jawale Willow Joe Zoller at the gala on Wednesday night and hug up on her and dance with her on the dance floor. Um, just wonderful. And this was a tremendous moment for us ladies uh, with Alvin Ailey. This piece was such a departure. And, you know, John really talks about, you know, what it was like teaching the work to us. And it, it was it was something else. And yeah, let me just throw up some more Ailey pictures since we're, <laughs> we're in this mode of Alvin Ailey. Oh, so there's Sarita. So there's Sarita in blue suite. She's reaching over over the back of the guy. So Sarita, as she just said, will be teaching a master class tomorrow at the Ailey Building, but also virtually in Blue Sweet Alvin's masterpiece um, that he created in 1958. So young, he was so young when he created this work, and so and it still stands it's the test of time. It's a wonderful piece. Um, I enjoy dancing it, especially when we had live music. Sometimes we have we would have a live band on stage when we performed uh, Blue Sweet. So there's Sarita with the company there in Blue Sweet. And let's see what else we have. Um, yes. Here is uh, some more of Judy, Miss Jamison, and Cry. Ah. Uh, the skyrocketed her into the stratosphere, right? As a diva, as a queen that she is. I mean, her star was already, you know, up there, but Cry just really, you know, shot into the moon. I mean, so amazing. Got to see her Wednesday night, of course. And I'm so glad that they are going to be celebrating this tremendous work tomorrow evening. And so I did an interview with several former Ailey dancers. We all danced the role Cry back in May. Some of you may have seen it. And so I reshared the link in my bio. So if you get a chance, and if you have an hour or so to spare, please look at the link in my bio. And there's a whole conversation of us talking about learning the role, dancing the role, you know, what it meant to us and passing it down to other generations of crying ladies. And so, yeah, if you have some free time, please go revisit that link and watch us discuss dancing this powerful tour de force um, epic role. And uh, so there's Judy, Miss Judith Jamison, more, oh, and of course, oh, Donna Wood. 
Donna Wood. I love Donna Wood. So I, I was able to be coached by both Judy and Donna. And again, just honored. Um, but Donna Wood also became famous uh, doing this role. She was already well known as an early dancer and, and I guess artist in other places. But for her as well, Cry really just, um, you know, it was amazing for her as well. Just gorgeous. And I've told this story before, but when uh, Miss Jamison asked me to start learning Cry, she told me to study Donna's version. And I had already been studying Donna's version on an old VHS tape that I had from my, from my childhood. So, um, but yeah, and then to get to work with her and her coach me in the role was unbelievable. So that's that. And what else can I share with you really quickly? So just some more, I mean, I'm just so happy for my Ailey family, happy to have been a part of the legacy of this company. And so just a quick, um, that is <laughs> me and Corinne Planta D and Matthew Rushing, who is now the Associate Artistic Director, Matthew, in Brenda Way's Scissors, Paper, Stone, um, a very sort of contemporary, modern, rock and roll trio. Um, had so much fun dancing this, dancing this work with these two. It was incredible. Um, let's see what else we got. Of course, I mentioned this the other day. Oh, I'm hiding Desmond's face in Dwight Roden's frames, but my head is in the way of Desmond, so sorry about that. Um, yeah, let's see. This is actually the poster that's behind me on my wall. Okay! I'm so proud. I really am, guys. I mean, really, just to be a part of the legacy and the history of this company is just really unbelievable. This was us in Vespers by Ulysses Dove. That's um, Nasha Thomas, myself, I think that's Corinne back there. Corinne planted the. I had to get really close, and I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, but yes, that's Ulysses Dow's Vespers that they brought back in 1992 or three, I believe. 93. 93. Um, yeah. So if anyone has any questions, please feel free to throw some up in the in the in the chat screen. This is me with Judy after my debut in Cry. I've shared all these before, but. It's just, just a moment, and go see them at City Center if you can. They're there through the 19th of December. Um, what else can I share with you guys really quickly? Oh, this is a, a quintet from a piece called Jukebox for Alvin, a sextet um, that was choreographed by Garth Fagan. Did you ever dance and dance at the gym? Oh, my God, yes. So when I joined the company, they were already dancing it. And um, so we were third cast. It was myself, uh, Vicky, Vicky Lambert, uh, Michael Joy, I think maybe Roger Bellamy, um, maybe Bernard Gaddis. So yes, to answer your question, yes, I did. And I actually did two roles. I initially did the um, original Liz Rojas role and then also started doing the original Debbie Deborah Manning role. And that was, <laughs> that piece was hard as hell. But Donald was great. He came in, he coached us and watched us do it. We did it for about a year. And I actually got to do Dance at the Gym, the, the lead female role um, at the Paris Opera on that rake. Um, that was something. My mom got to see me. <laughs> it was great. And uh, yeah, so yes, I did do Dance at the Gym. Thank you for that question. Um, let's see what else we have. Yes, please ask me questions. I'm talking about Ailey. I'm feeling talkative about the whole situation. This was Riverside by Judith Jamison. This was 1995. Um, yeah, this was a great piece as well. It was a big group piece. I had a solo in that work. And yeah. Um, oh, oh my God. So many guys. You guys have probably seen this photo before. But this was us in rehearsal for her ballet hymn that we did in 93 with the great Anna DeVere Smith. And that's me on the far right look, looking evil. I was starving. And next to me is Raquel Chavis. There's Nasha. There's Judy in the middle. Andre Tyson, Lydia Roberts, Renee Robinson laughing. And right behind you, you really can't see him, is Michael Thomas. So this was a rehearsal for her ballet hymn. Oh my God, which was in tribute to, to Alvin and just an amazing ballet. They did a film of it. Um, I had left the company by then, sadly, but there's a film version of him 
that I believe won a bunch of awards. And if you haven't seen it yet, please check out the Alvin Ailey documentary that's out now. It's been out for a while now. It's, it's incredible. It's really incredible. Um, and one, one more thing I'll show you guys before I jump off. Oh, uh, so this was a few summers ago uh, at Summer Stage and my new role is, well, not new anymore, but in my role as a curator. And I presented the Alvin Ailey film that was presented by Lincoln Center. There was more of a concert film and they did four ballets with some interviews in between. But I also presented um, a Revelations workshop on stage. I believe this was 2016, but um, all, all my Ailey lovely ladies came out to support the show the film and then Judy showed up she was introducing the film and it was just a wonderful day backstage and there's of course Miss Jamison, there's Nasha, Desiree Vlad, R Renee Robinson and Ronnie Fabers who is currently the he's a former alien dancer and she's currently the rehearsal master mistress director <laughs> for the company and her face is hidden but this was um, backstage at summer stage and they just <laughs> came out to support the, the event and um, Nasha actually taught taught the workshop on stage and it was just brilliant. It's just really, hey Glenn, Alan Sims. I'm over here just chatting about Ailey. You know, you're always welcome to come on Glenn if you want to. <laughs> and that's it. I think that's all I have to share. Oh, me and Chaya. My debut in Cry. Look at that. I love me some Chaya. I love me some Masazumi Chaya. He was so great with us. He, he, and he still is. He's great with the kids, honey. He's great with the kids. Yeah. So if you have any questions or if you want to come on or say anything. Oh, my God. Let's see. I think I got Glenn Sims. Ah, I'm so excited. Oh, wait. Before I grab you, Glenn, there's a question, I think. I wish you could interview Deborah Manning. I loved her. I love her, too. But, you know, Debbie, you know, she, she lost her partner, but lost her husband, David St. Charles. Um, Debbie's not a big um, social media person at all. Um, and, you know, we also recently lost our dear Deborah Chase. So I think she's just starting to sort of come out. She'll be teaching next week at Philodanko for, which I'll get to their anniversary seasons coming up, which I'll be down in Philly for. But before I lose him, let me bring in Gwen Sims. But yes, Debbie Manning is beloved, trust and believe. <laughs> I got Gwen Sims. Yes. <laughs> you can read. <laughs> How are you doing, Danny? <laughs> I am loving these poppins. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, brother man? What's up, handsome? Nothing much. I'm just getting in. Have like yes. another two hours of work to complete from home. Okay. Picking LinkedIn up from daycare. You know. <laughs> working parent. Yes. You know. <laughs> How's he doing? He is doing great. Let me see if I can flip the camera. He's stepping. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ellen, take a UA. Hi. <laughs> oh my God. Are you kidding me? Hi, hi there. Hey, he hi. is like, I am unbothered by this moment. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Okay, bye. <laughs> Well, thank you for that. So I don't know if you saw earlier, but my mom is here. So she came on for a quick pop in. She made her Danny G live debut. Oh, <laughs> well, that's sweet. No, I just parked. I just pulled in and I saw that Sarita was going to be on. Yes. With you. So I was like, let me chime in right now. <laughs> and, you know, not really on social media that much. And I was like, oh, it's Friday, five o'clock hour, Danny G's yes. live. Yes, thank you. I know I've been keeping these going and I'm having so much fun still with these these interviews and just even when I don't have a guest just coming on and people just randomly come in yeah. and it's still wonderful and I just enjoy it so much. But tell me what's going on and um, Bali Hispanico and what are you up to and are you coming to the season? I am next Thursday. I don't know what the program is. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but we'll be there. Um, nice. We were on tour. Ballet mm -hmm. Spanica was on tour October 16th through the 31st mm -hmm. in Midwest. And then we came back home for a couple of days and we went back out um, to California. Mm -hmm. We performed at the Zellerbach Hall in Berkeley nice. for the first time. So it was nice being, there. nice being there. And now we're preparing. Um, Annabelle Lopez Ochoa is in the studio working with the dancers. Love her. Including Doña Poron. Oh, nice. Which will premiere at City Center in April, April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Yes. Um, and then we go on the road again, January 16th. 
Wow. Yeah. So forgive me for forgetting, but tell me, tell me your role again. I am the company manager. Yeah. <laughs> so, so quickly, I mean, can you just tell me what transitionally is, the, is that like for you? Like, what, what new things have you had to learn? Because you know, I had to learn how to do Excel. Yeah. I had to learn to do Excel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, seriously, because you know you use your computer different. <laughs> uh oh, I lost your sound. Oh wait, we can't hear you anymore. No. Perfect. There you go. Okay. Someone was calling. Um, mm -hmm. So you, when you're a, a performing artist, you use your computer differently. It's <laughs> on to get on emails, check who's asking for you or whatever use your, your laptop for class. If you're doing videos of yourself and stuff like that, and mm -hmm. splicing, making reels and stuff. So you're doing it, you're, you're not using it for administrative stuff. Right. Maybe, maybe some dancers are. I mean, mm -hmm. in this day and age, everybody is doing administrative work, you know. But, so I had to learn Excel and then just doing logistics and stuff like that, learning the, knowing the side, the side of the company manager from the years of being with Ailey and traveling and being in the arts since I was nine, mm -hmm. but really understanding what it takes to manage a company, mm. you know, and mm -hmm. managing personalities and people, you know, and yeah. managing yourself in that too and removing yourself way, way back so you can be of service to others. Mm, right. So yeah. that, it's been, it's, this is my, what is it, May I started full-time? So nice. seven months, almost okay. eight months now. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm learning. That's a, that's a piece of it that I don't think people really understand. Whether you're artistic director or company manager, you're managing personalities. Mm -hmm. And that's na you're navigating, you know, every single day, something's different with somebody. Right. Whether it's emotionally, whether whatever it is, an injury, whether it's, you know, whatever it is. You know, yeah. you can manage all of that, right? Yeah. I think it takes a special person to be able to, to handle those kind of roles. No, I, and, it, and it does. And then I think you have one, calm, <laughs> patient, right. and then at the same time, um, very, very organized. Yes. Very, very organized. Yes. And being able to compartmentalize things Mm -hmm. you know, and have conversations with individuals. Yes. That's another thing too. It's also um, being, being articulate. Right. You know, and then learning, well, it's, this is another thing I had to learn too. Agma's contract is complete. I mean, Ballet Spanico's contract is completely different than the contract that I had worked on with ALA. Oh, interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that was a huge difference too, mm -hmm. but you know. Yeah. And just and to not not just being articulate and communicating well, time management, organization, but diplomacy. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How's Eduardo? He's great. <laughs> He's amazing. I love him. He's so doing much. really well. He's doing really well. Everybody at Ballet Spanik is doing really well. Yeah, I can't wait to see you guys. You said in April you'll be at City Center. Yes, April first through third. We will be there. We will be there. Yes. How's Linda? She's great. She'll be, she's in the studio now until six. Okay. And then she'll be coming out, driving home. Yes, and even her and her new role, I was so happy to see her. Well, both of you, um, yeah. uh, over the summer at Lincoln mm. Center for yeah. Bad. Yeah, yeah, um, I just, I'm just loving seeing everybody transitioning. I mean, and then there's Linda, Denise, and Hubbard Street mm -hmm. just yeah. had her first show mm -hmm. season with them now and the brave reviews. I'm just loving seeing everybody transitioning and just like elevating and I'm like, am I, am I <laughs> <laughs> no, it's wonderful and I love seeing it. It just makes me so proud and so inspiring. Because, yeah, we can do other things. I mean yeah. once you leave dance, there are other avenues to to, to explore. Yes. You know? And it's just amazing especially in these administ administrative roles. Yes. You know, because we know we know what it takes. Like an mm -hmm. administrator I, you know, I'm not going to put people on that stage unless I know it's safe. Right. Yeah. And a lot of presenters don't have that mindset of mm -hmm. what they actually need yeah. to get the job done. Right. So, so it's great to have a person that has walked in those slippers or... <laughs> in those Hermes. <laughs> or, yes, or a sandal sole. 
<laughs> for real, for real. Well, listen, man, I don't know if I'll be there Thursday, but I am going back tomorrow night to see mm -hmm. the cry program. Yeah. For my mom. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. And uh, the gala was amazing. It was my yeah. first time gala in like decades, like seriously. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so I was just glad to be there and be a part of that moment for the yeah. comeback. And uh, I'm hoping I want to come back. I want to see Memoria. I want to. Mm -hmm. I got to see the river. I've got oh to yeah. See I need to see Vortex. I need to know who's doing Vortex. <laughs> well, I think I was scrolling through Instagram the night of the gala, and mm -hmm. so thank you for those images because I felt like I was there even though I was laying in bed <laughs> at that hour. Um, yeah. I think Jacqueline Harris is dancing. Ooh. I mean, don't coin me on it, you know. Dancing. All right, I need to get the, I need to get the, the scoop from somebody. I need to hear casting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So did you did you do Falls? I did my first couple years in the like my first year in the company. I did the Torn Lear. Um, oh my goodness! Very, and yes. then I moved to Dancing Lake. Oh, uh, and I danced Lake with. Linda D. Yes. And then Linda. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And, and then eventually, like, Twin Cities. Gosh. You know, before I let you go, I mean, it must have been and just so amazing. I don't, uh, let me not say this incorrectly or improperly, but dancing with someone as partners that you're so, like, literally intimately connected with, like, you... Like, you know when we're partners with somebody that we're, we're partners with a lot, like, mm. really with the bodies and moves and turns, everything. But what is that like dancing like with your love partner? It's, it's one, it's a blessing. And it's yeah. something that I think, I don't want to say it happens once in a lifetime, but for me, it happens once, it happens once in a lifetime. Mm. And to have that experience on stage when you're really looking at somebody like into their soul the way that you do privately and intimately at home, but you're doing it on stage. Um, and it's just uh, one of those moments where it's very kinetic and connected. Mm. But at the same time, every moment that you're out there is something that's very special and intimate because it's a, it's, it's a living organism that's happening right. between the two of you. The energy right. is alive between right. the two of you. And whether or not we have that fourth wall in front of us, we're, we're allowing people to be voyeurs into our world. Yes. In our private life, too, because it's just when you're partnering somebody, like, you can... With like with Linda, I could be really in her face. Yeah, you know, get really close and up, you know, and so it was it was really special to be able to share that time yes. on stage with her that way, mm -hmm. you know, and because you sleep together in the same bed, your breath is almost the same. Your breath is, yes. is on the same pathways. Your heartbeat is also on ah. the same pathway. So like listening to the music and that's why we named Ellington after of Duke Ellington after the river because that was one of the first duets that we danced together. Oh nice. Yeah. Oh my so heart is exploding right now. And in the seeing you guys in the virtual, but I seen you do it live too, mm -hmm. um the duet from Winter in Lisbon. Just so sexy and like you could really go there because you know Yeah. <laughs> Y'all doing it. <laughs> Y'all making babies. <laughs> no, I love it. I love your guys' love. It's so it's so evident. And I just, I wish you all the best. I'm so glad you guys are getting to work together even more now in this new part of your journey. I mean, there's nothing like it. I mean, even like with my with my guy, we only get to work together seasonally. Yeah. But, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a fun moment. Like when I'm working on my dance program and I know that he's got the, He's got the range with the sound, and mm -hmm. it's just, you know, is there something to that? You know, <laughs> yeah, it's really great. So anyway, thank you for popping on. You're welcome. I'm about to read. I hope I run into you in these dance streets. Oh, what's read that? This book. He's got a book. He said, "Daddy, oh. read, read a book. <laughs> read, read, read." So we're gonna read a book. Oh, just fabulous. And oh. I'll con con continue working. Yes. So okay. if I don't see you at, at City Center, I would absolutely see you there in April with. Uh, yeah. his yeah, and have a great new year. 
Yeah. Enjoy your holiday season because you know it's already <laughs> December and it's gonna fly by before you. Know it, it is. It's. it's I'm already checked out. I'm so. I have a few. More, <laughs> I have one more week of work. I'm. So, my. My. I'm trying to hold on. <laughs> I'm so checked out for the year already. It's. It's terrible. <laughs> I'm like, what? What email? What happened? <laughs> Daddy. I know. <laughs> All right. Take care. Stay safe. Well, and the babes and the Eduardo and the company and I will I'll see you somewhere soon you will okay all right take care bye bye <laughs> bye ah, yes okay we had Sarita we had Glenn Sims we had Sylvia my my cousin we had the mom pop in <laughs> this was so wonderful so oh I'm so lifted and, and excited and yeah just ready to go on with the rest of my evening and so I've said, and all I need to say, um, thankful for everyone that popped on. And again, if you are in New York or coming to New York in the next two weeks or so, please take a trip over to City Center and see the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater. And um, tomorrow, again, I will be going to the theater for their 50th anniversary cry celebration. And as I mentioned, back in May, I interviewed um, five of my fellow former Ailey Queens talking about dancing the roll cry. And so if you haven't seen it before, please take a moment if you can to go into my link tree. The link is there on my YouTube channel, Danny G TV, subscribe. <laughs> okay. And um, the video uh, is there on demand. Okay. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching and tuning in. Thank you to Sarita and Sylvia and, and Glenn for popping on. Thanks for your questions. Um, next week, I actually will have a guest, DJ Crystal here from here in New York. She is bad mamma jamma, and she'll be joining me live at six next week. And I'll actually be in Philly next week. Oh, that's what I'm going to say. So I'll be in Philly next week to help celebrate uh, Phil Danko's 50th anniversary plus one. They missed a year because of, you know, the pandemic. But it's their um, opening of re return to the Kimmel Center in Philly. And so I'll be down there on the 10th next week to help them celebrate that, as well as Ms. Joe Myers Brown's upcoming 90th birthday. She is going to be 90 years old, and she is still out here on tour, kids. Okay, a size two. <laughs> I hate her. <laughs> no, I love her. But I'll be down in Philly celebrating that. Leslie Odom Jr. <clears throat> is one of the co-chairs of the, of the after gala party. I think Patty LaBelle is going to make an appearance. Lee Daniels. The kids are coming through. So if you're in Philly or going to be in Philly next weekend, <laughs> go see Philodenko at the Kimmel. They're only there, I believe, the 10th through the 12th. Um, and it's going to be great. Zane, Zane, come on for a few seconds. Zane, you want to pop on? I'm going to send you an invitation, Zane, my Philly brother. Are you, are you uh, dressed? <laughs> Say, can I send you a request to come on? Let's see. Let me see if I can get Zane to come in for just a quick second. My, my Philadelphia brother. Let's see if he'll join us. If not, it's okay. Um, yes, hey, Jessica Pinkin. It was gorgeous. Ah! <laughs> Zane, can you see me? I can, but why does my face look all crooked? <laughs> Are you eating? Why is everybody coming on eating? I'm not eating. I was getting ready to go to this Friday, uh, first Friday thing real quick. Because, you know, I got to be in bed in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so overjoyed. How are you? I'm good. All I see is forehead, though. Wait, what's happening? I know. What's going on with the... You know, you know how I am with technology, so don't act like you don't know. I'm technically challenged. So, okay, now you see face? Yes. So this okay. is Zane Booker, former Philadelphia baby as well, but also with, you know, White Oak Project, uh, Nether's Dance Theater, Ballet Roos. Wait, that Ballet Roos. <laughs> ballet Roos. Oh, Lord. <laughs> ballet de Monte Carlo. I guess it was Roos at some point. <laughs> Girl. That didn't push you back in the 60s. So listen. <laughs> Zane and I, I've, I've, I've talked about my brother Zane before. I was down in Philly three weeks ago. He did an amazing fundraiser at Philodanko that he invited me to help host. And so we did a live from Philly, if you saw that. And uh, Zane has Zane Booker Entertainment Productions happening. He's going to be opening up coffee shops all over the world next year. So right. Talk it, talk it into existence. 
So Zane and I were teenagers together in Philadelphia, dancing. I'm sorry the for the attire. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. And so what's going on? Where are you going? I'm going to go to this thing called Indie Life. It's on Baltimore Avenue. You probably have met this brother. He's a, um, he's a creative, like he does creative production with singers and artists and stuff. And he hosts a First Friday event. What's his name? Oh, <laughs> oh I don't know. But the name of the company is called Indie Life. Not familiar, but um, but I am going to see you next Friday, right? Yes, I'm there. I'm working. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be working. I'm going to be running around, giving out tickets and stuff. Nice. But yeah. are, are you staying for Saturday? I am going coming back on Saturday. Oh, OK. Yeah. Because still... I'm probably. I'm probably going to do something at the crib with the alumni and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. But you know, yeah. just for us. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to come back Saturday. I have something Saturday night back here in New York. Okay. But, wait, so you have a towel on? You just got out the shower? Well, I, I, I got, I'm dressed, but I was going, I was trying to put the outfit together. You know, I'm trying to. <laughs> I, I'm trying to figure out what top to put together. I love y'all you so know. much. Listen, listen, listen every, y'all. This is every outing is an opportunity, honey. It's an opportunity. Let's be clear. <laughs> Everybody ain't boot cat. Everybody ain't boot cat. Fry me some potatoes. Make me some tofu over there. I see you. I be checking you out with your boo, baby. <laughs> Give me some wine. Okay. Here go my wine. Oh my god, he's the best. He's so funny. But wait, yeah, so I'm happy for you though. Are all the time. Yeah. We just laugh. We love each other. We have a great time. Even when we're fighting, we're laughing. We have a good time. <laughs> right? I love it. I cannot wait for next Friday. Um, I actually we're gonna have a ball. Clear with um, uh, Antonio. So oh, I'm sure if I can make it because I was I had because he texted me to ask me if I was gonna be there. Antonio is also a former uh, Danko doll. Fabulous Antonio Carlos Scott. And he texted me to ask me if I was going to go. And I was like, well, I got to check my coins. Because, you know, <laughs> the coins, honey. So he texted me today and was like, did you get your coinage together? <laughs> <laughs> the coinage thing is real, honey. You know. <laughs> no. The, 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 trust fund, the trust fund didn't open up yet. Okay. So I got my coinage together. I just, I, I bid okay. it and I, I just called Marlisa. Uh, last Monday and this no this past Monday and uh, I was like you, you got one ticket left for me babe you got one ticket left for me so I wanted to I actually you. saw you I was my job was to put things in alphabetical order so I saw the G <laughs> and I knew you were coming so that's good are you are you are you arranging the seating no that's um Kim Gatlin is doing the seating and of course Aunt Joan oh, you know Aunt Joan is doing the Zoom claustrophobic <laughs> oh there's John oh hey, Blue Cat. we were just talking about you Zane wants to come over for dinner and get some 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 vegan. Cuisine. Oh yes, you know because I'm on a mission this year. I got to get this pre-diabetic condition together. Oh, you are. Yeah, oh, I got to do no. cardio. Yeah. Okay. Because you know we think that I think that just because I'm exercising and moving around a lot, mm -hmm. but it's not the same as doing that sustained cardio. Well, you know because you was in the in the thing. Yeah. You used to do it for a living. Oh wow, wow, that's right. This, I'm right with you. I mean, even Antonio was saying he's like, "We're on a mission for this year." Absolutely. Yeah, I'm I mean, not playing. I got knee pain. I got knee pain for the first time. I'm like, what is Baby, that? What if is I don't, that? if I don't get up, if I don't get up and do them exercises with this back, I need a cane. I'm serious. I'm not playing with you. And then I go up there when I teach. I, I think that I'm still 25. I'm doing. Doing the old exercises at the bar, and I Jones like you keep it up, right. you keep it up here. Yeah. <laughs> like, I had to get a knee brace earlier this week. I'm just in all my business, but you know ooh. it's all good. But your hip, how are your hips though? Your hips are good though. The hips are fine. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, actually, I think the knee. You know what? You know what I think I actually tweaked it was when I came down for. Um, the other thing. Oh, it was a Sea Ballet X, but I came to your function at the wine garden. Remember when Oh, yeah, yeah. That was happened? nice. And I slipped and fell on the train. Remember I told you about that? I mean, maybe I didn't tell you about yeah. you did. No, you did tell me about that because, yeah, you told me about that. I think that was the initial tweakage and just, you know, whatever. I think it just was something underlying and 
I finally got it checked out. So I have a little knee brace because it's a little sore right now. But <laughs> so okay. I want to look, trying to be cute in 25, I wore these platform high heel boots to the gala Wednesday night for Ailey. <laughs> I, I nice. Even, I couldn't even walk the next day. <laughs> it's okay, though. No, ain't nothing wrong with that. As long as you look good. That was the point. You know, you got to represent. It's fun to dress up. It and being is. a little bit of pain. Not a lot of pain, but a little bit of pain. Yeah, I had a great time. Oh, thank you, Jessica. She, they, they were cute. <laughs> yes. Oh, Silk City Diner. What's up, Silk City? I have not been to Silk City. In oh, that's what's time. up. Remember going to Silk City with King Brent was spinning? Mm. I do. I, I, I vaguely... Did we go there together at least yeah. once, right? Oh, yeah. Days. I just, oh, I just had a flashback. Mm -hmm. I drove by there the other day, maybe two weeks ago, when they were using the side garden. So it's still popping. Oh, cool. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, so mm -hmm. listen, I was literally just about to get off. I'm going to try to figure out something. Okay. I'm just here. <laughs> All right. Popping. Look, right before you get off, I just want to tell you that these old people's stories, we're not going to tell them in public no more. <laughs> because that night we went out after the wine garden thing. You know that's the night I, I hurt my Achilles. <laughs> but we're not going to talk about it no more. It's over. <laughs> y'all listen listen we went to after that wine garden incident we went to lee joe's uh sunday party at some little outdoor spot called sunflower down there in philly and um, and got our life we got our life now i was gonna hang off to the side zane was getting his right <laughs> life on that dance floor <laughs> Then, I was I, I was said, battling the young boy. I was like, what happened? <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I needed this laugh so bad. I'm tired. And then we go back to my hotel where I was staying. We had to get the boy back. I, I, just, I was I, like, what? Oh, Jesus. Are you sweating? Uh, I'm, I'm crying. <laughs> Y'all, I'm telling you, this is love. This is family. Oh, my God. Oh. I, I had to walk all the way up the hill to find a seat. <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> that was fun. I love you, Zay. I love so you, Ben. Listen, we are going to hoop right. and holler. Um, yes. And we definitely need to find somewhere after the formal party with you okay. know, the gal or whatever that is. Um, we, uh, whew, my heart. Is that Claudia? Yes, is that Claudia? She said, thank you. Claudia I Wall. Yes. Oh, hilarious. Thank you, doll. Yes, it's Claudia, honey. Claudia is coming. I've seen oh, her good. envelope. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be wonderful, um, but yes, after the party, then we can, we need to find somewhere to go for our own little like you know post. Um, if we don't find nobody else, we can come back to my house. Okay, perfect. Yes, yep. we'll have a good time. We're gonna have a good time. So yep. I love you. I am gonna sign off. As I well. love you too. My eyes are burning. Right. And my mascara with all my eyes now. <laughs> oh, that was a good laugh. Listen, yes, yes. We, we can talk about getting older because, you know, what well, that's real. You know what I'm saying? That's true. We, that's true. we devoted ourselves to this art form and we made it happen. And we, yes, we have little aches and pains from that, but that's okay. I mean, that's right. This is to be ashamed of, you know what I'm saying? Getting that's older, right. be ashamed of. If your knee hurts, if you got a little extra under here, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if, the, if the boobies are sitting there where they, they were 20 years ago, who cares? Right? Right. We're breathing uh, here. We, we all need PP pee -pee pads. <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote that? Was that Claudia? <laughs> I mean, right? <laughs> we have to be uh, on all of this. Yes. Okay? Yes, honey. Anything Ain't nothing wrong privilege. with it. Getting older is a privilege. That's true. That's true. So That's true. we got to laugh about these things. We got to laugh about all of it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you wake up in the morning sometimes. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, who, who is that? <laughs> you know? <laughs> and it's okay. We have to be okay with talking about it, you know? And that's the only way we're going to get through it. So anyway, oh, my God. I needed this laugh so bad. Oh, man, I love you. I can't wait to see you on Friday. I love you, too. We're going to have a good time. Yeah, we're going to have a ball. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So you yeah, had fun out there in the streets tonight. 
I am. Um, it ain't gonna be but a forty-five minute outing, so <laughs> you gotta make it count. <laughs> okay. All right, bye bye. I oh, catch you later. You love you. Soon. Love you, G. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh my God, I'm crying. Where's my fan? I'm crying, y'all. Oh, how fun was this today? All right, did we let him out? Let's see. Okay, I think it's, I think we're good. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's see. Let yourself out, baby. Okay. Well, it's okay. So, oh my God, this was so much fun. So, so much fun. I'm not sure. Did we ex did we leave Zane out yet? We let him out yet? I think so. But all good. Yes, there we go. Okay. Oh my God. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been so much fun. Just catching up with family and friends and <laughs> dancer people and all of that. I have my little notes. I'm making sure I said everything I needed to say. Um Yes, Sarita tomorrow teaching at the Ailey Extension. Sarita Allen, go to albaailey.org or on Instagram at Ailey Extension. She's teaching a master class in Blue Suite. Go to the link tree in my bio to watch my conversation with uh, five former beautiful Ailey diva queens, us talking about dancing the role of Cry, that they are celebrating tomorrow night, 50th anniversary. Happy early birthday to my girl Desiree Vlad. Former also Ailey Queen. Her birthday is December 8th. And um, and just on a more serious note, just um, love and prayers to uh, the families of the victims of Oxford High School in Michigan. I mean, that whole thing is just so horrific. And just prayers out to those families. Um, it's all our families that are suffering from any sadness, sickness, you know, illness, death and all of it so prayers up for everyone for all of us stay kind stay true to yourselves and uh yeah i will see you out and about go see alvin ailey go see danko next week go see dance parsons of the joyce this week coming just go see dance go see theater go see music go see live support these artists and um <laughs> yes thanks for tuning in and i will see you next week stay safe <laughs>